Hello and welcome, Cabbage here. Let's have a look at the Super Extreme Quest for Jun. And uh, this is actually the second video that I am making of her. Uh, but there are a few reasons why I wanted to make another. Uh, one is because now I am actively working on the Max Luck. I'm about uh, halfway done. Um, so my uh, knowledge of the stage is much better having played it more. Um, so I thought I could do a better like strategy of this. And then um, the second reason is because this Super Extreme quest is generally agreed to be the most difficult uh, Super Extreme quest. Um, I don't know if I agree with that, but um, a lot of people don't like the magic panels. <laughs> I don't mind them so much as most people, so I don't mind playing this mission. Uh, but, you know, just in case there were people that were interested in clearing it, uh, here's this. And then uh, gimmicks here are damage walls and the magic circles. And uh, a kind of a new gimmick where we need to hit these bouquets. Um, and then they will lower the defense of everybody. And then we can do real damage to the boss and the little guys. And then that uh, defense down will wear off after that turn. Um, so we have to hit the bouquets and then we can do damage to all of the uh, other guys. And um, yeah, that makes it even more difficult uh, because there are the magic circles out. Um, we have to be very careful with our angles and our positioning and everything. Um, so we can't really blaze through this mission. It does take a while to get through. Um, and then uh, the first turn of every stage, the flowers will not uh, be in the counterattack mode. So that first turn is kind of a lost turn. We can't really do damage to people. So on that first stage, what I will do with my max luck is just do a left and right angle in order to lift up all of my other guys. Um, so they will be in better position to take down the pair of angels. Okay, second stage. Um, again, we want to hit the bouquets and then take down everybody. Um, and again, the first turn of every stage, uh, there is no counterattack mode on the bouquets to lower everyone's defense. Uh, but if we have a good positioning, we can take down um, somebody with a direct attack. And to talk about my team, first I'm using a Kushinada. She is a balance with a null damage wall. Uh, she does not have the null magic circle, so we need to be careful about where she is moving. Uh, there I saw a path where uh, she could move while hitting two magic panels, um, so she was able to return to her original form. Um, she has a Grand Command Strike Shot, which is really good for clearing the field and also uh, doing damage to the boss. And uh, my second character is uh, Skipti. Um, she's another bounce with Null Damage Wall. Uh, but she does have the Null Magic Circle, so she can move around more freely. Um, she has a Tackle Strike Shot, which is not really good for this mission. Uh, because uh, you want to hit the bouquet first, and then other guys. Um, so you can take advantage of the defense down. Um, but if you were to start a new stage um, and then the counterattack mode is not ready yet, um, you could use that tackle strike shot on like the Dark Angel or the uh, Wizard guy in order to take him down. And then that would be a good, you know, uh, time to use that strike shot. Uh, next up I'm using uh, Kanan, the uh, Dark Colossal Monster. And um, yeah, I've never done a monster review of her. Uh, but she's really, really good. She's one of the top colossal monsters, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, this will give me a chance to uh, talk about her. <laughs> uh, but she's a bounce with null damage wall and null warp. And then a very unique ability. I don't know what you would call it in English, but when she hits the uh, magic circle, she turns into a rooster instead of a chick. And then uh, what happens there is that her attack and then her bump combo damage will go up. Uh, but she will still be unable to use her um, strike shot. And so actually the way that you want, would want to use it with Kanan is that you would want her to be in her rooster form um, all through the mission uh, because then she would get the bonus to her attack and bump combo until her strike shot is ready and then you want her to return her to her original form and then use that strike shot and then return to the rooster form again. <laughs> Uh, but either way, she's very usable, so you don't really need to uh, worry about going over the magic circles too much. Um, so that's really nice for her. Um, she has the uh, marking laser, which is difficult to use, but very powerful. Um, if you hit her, she will send out a target onto the nearest enemy. And then uh, if you hit that target, uh, she will shoot a marking laser into that target. And it's big, big damage. Um, 
The best way to take advantage of it is to do a perfect vertical or perfect horizontal shot. Um, because that means you can hit the target, um, you know, multiple times and get multiple lasers. Okay, and then finally I'm using a Kiskill Leela. And then uh, my favorite two characters to use here as a friend are Kiskill Leela or Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, they are both uh, bounce with null damage wall and the null magic circle. Um, Kiskill Leela is good at healing, and then uh, Jekyll and Hyde is good at... Uh, just doing damage, so either one of those two I would highly recommend here. Um, she's also bounced with a Null Damage Wall and the uh, Null Magic Circle. She has a Strike Shot where she gets a uh, power up and then does healing every time she hits a, um, an ally. Um, she does not get speed up, however, with the Strike Shot. Um, so you need to be um, just as careful with it as a normal shot uh, in order to make sure that you're hitting everything that you want to hit. Okay, she also has a um, Meteor that hits everybody bump combo, and that can be good to uh, set off the counterattack of the flowers. Um, so you can hit Kiss Kalila as you're on your way to doing damage to other guys. Um, so yeah, that is an option there. Okay, first boss stage. Um, the boss has a tick mark on the HP bar, um, and then once we get the... Um, HP down below that tick mark, uh, she will move, and, or she will change into a new form. And then um, the attacks from the pre-tick mark uh, version are not so bad. Um, it's once she turns into the second form uh, that she has an attack that can um, do lots of damage on us. Uh, it's not a one-hit KO. If we have full HP, we can survive it. Um, so that's a, a technique. Um, if you know the attack is coming, you can you know work more on keeping your HP up, and then survive it, and then keep going. Uh, but yeah, uh, very necessary to keep that in mind. And then um, also when you um, cross that tick mark, uh, the boss will hit you with an attack. Um, so if you cross the tick mark, in a lot of uh, missions, uh, that will be like a free turn where you can kind of rest. Uh, that's not really the case in uh, this mission, so be careful about that. Okay, but second boss stage, we'll, we'll get rid of the uh, Dark Angels first. And then um, I like to go after the Light Angels. Uh, the Light Angels, they have that attack on the top of them. Uh, one is at 5, one is at 3. Uh, where if it hits 0, we'll be hit with a, uh, an Electricity attack. Um, everybody will take damage. That's not a one-hit KO either, but it does take away a lot. And if we take both, that's really not good. <laughs> so we can take down one and then the other on another turn, just in order to stall their attacks. Uh, but if we take them down in the same turn, uh, then they will not revive each other, and then we can, you know, just proceed without having to worry about them. And then um, I would say it's very important uh, to get rid of them before you get Jun over the uh, tick mark on her HP bar. Um, just so that you have one less thing to worry about as you're trying to do as much damage to Jun as possible. Okay, good. <laughs> so yeah, you have to kind of hit a shallow, kind of a tricky angle uh, in order to hit the bouquet, and then get in between the uh, angels in order to take them out. Okay, so there I used a Kiss Kill Leela Strike Shot in order to get some healing in. Um, so that was good. Yeah, we see uh, three attacks coming up next turn, so... Alright, here this attack was purely just to get uh, Kushinada back into her original form, uh, so that she can use her Strike Shot, uh, hopefully for the next and last stage. Okay, uh, go over the tick mark. Uh, new bouquets come out, uh, plus one other Dark Angel. I like to get rid of that Dark Angel right away. Okay, bouquets go into the counterattack mode. And then the uh, attack in the center of Jun, the uh, four there, that is the, uh, the meteor attack, which can take us down. Uh, if we're maybe at like half-life or less. Uh, but I do have that gold heart there, so we'll see if we can uh, save that until we need it.
Hmm. I don't know what that shot was. <laughs> Okay, two turns until the big attack, so let's uh, grab the heart. Okay, very good. So we'll take down the boss there. Uh, we set off the counterattack with a Skitti's bump combo there, so that was good. And then uh, Kushinada returns to her original form. Okay, first turn. The uh, bouquets are not in counterattack mode, but we can use Skitti's uh, strike shot in order to get rid of that uh, magician. Okay, Bouquet is going to counterattack mode, so now we can hit that, and then we can hit the little guys. And take down the pair of angels, so that was good. Alright, and then we'll get rid of the dark angel. Alright. Okay, so now it's just us and the boss. We'll hit the Bouquet, and then we'll go hit the boss. And uh, we have Kushinada's uh, strike shot ready, so let's fire that. Okay, pretty good. Alright, so we cross the uh, tick mark. Uh, old bouquets go away, we get hit with a little attack. New bouquets come out, uh, plus another angel. So let's see if we, I can get rid of that angel there. Not a lot of HP, so we don't need to, uh, you know, get the counterattack mode going before we can uh, take him down. Okay, so uh, bouquets are in counterattack mode. We'll use Kanan's becomes a pure strike shot, and then we'll rely on Kiskililo's bump combo, the meteor, to hit the bouquets, and uh, that will lower the defense of the boss, and then we'll take down the boss. All right, so that was Jun, and uh, that was almost a free party. <laughs> I guess if you had two Kanans, you could use uh, two of those instead of, uh, you know, a Kanan in uh, Skitti. Uh, but yeah, if you know, you know, the order of things to do, and you're very careful with your positioning and your angles, then it's not that bad a mission. And then I do think the Ascension form of Jun is a very good max luck. Um, she's a Pierce with a Minesweeper M and a Blast Bump combo, and a Null Everything Strike Shot, so she's pretty good. Okay, hopefully that was helpful, and we'll see you again. Take care.